What if the ground beneath your feet couldn't support your weight? What if a single design change could lead to the deaths of hundreds? What happens when a 260,000 gallon aquarium suddenly bursts in the middle of a hotel lobby? Amazing projects have been built all around the world. Huge skyscrapers, massive bridges, and even entire cities. But when things go wrong, the results can be disastrous. Today we're diving into eight of history's biggest construction disasters. Failures that cost billions, claimed lives, and changed how we build forever. Let's start with eight. You've probably even held pictures of tourists with the Tower of Pisa. But have you ever wondered, why is it leaning? It wasn't intentional. Built in 1173, the tower was supposed to stand next to Pisa Cathedral. After three stories, the tower started tilting. The soil just couldn't hold the weight. The ground beneath, it was made of soft clay, sand, and water. Basically, a terrible foundation for a massive stone tower. But medieval engineers didn't understand soil mechanics, so they kept building. Construction took nearly 200 years with long pauses due to wars and funding issues. Oddly enough, the delays saved the tower. By the time the tower was finished in 1372, the lean had gotten even worse. Builders tried fixing it by making one side taller, but that just gave it a banana-like curve. Historical records show that by 1298, the tilt was already over 1.4 meters off center. By 1358, it had reached 1.6 meters. But you know the crazy part. The soft soil that caused the lean may have actually saved it from four big earthquakes. The loose ground absorbed a lot of the shaking, keeping the tower from toppling over. Today, scientists say it should stay stable for at least another 200 years. Not bad for an 850-year-old mistake, right? Now our seven mega project was an outright catastrophe. In 1980, Hyatt Regency Hotel in Kansas City opened as a symbol of luxury. 504 feet tall, 45 stories, 733 rooms. Its grand atrium was the heart of the action, hosting weekly tea dances. But on July 17, 1981, disaster struck. Two of the hotel's walkways collapsed. In seconds, 114 people were dead. 216 more were injured. At the time, it was the deadliest accidental structural failure in U.S. history. But what was the reason? A single design change. That's it. Originally, each walkway had its own steel support rods. But to ease, assembly builders connected the second floor walkway to the fourth, which was then attached to the roof. A small tweak, but it doubled the weight load on the fourth floor walkway. It couldn't handle it. But this was inevitable, as even with one third of the weight, that night the walkway still would have collapsed. A part of the roof collapsed during construction and a warning had come. But instead of a full review, the project continued. Then came the fallout. Over 300 lawsuits, $3 billion in claims, and at least $140 million in settlements. One survivor received $12 million for lifelong care. The engineering firm lost its licenses and multiple companies went bankrupt. Survivors and first responders carry the trauma to this day. Now for six on our list. This mega project wasn't a building collapse, earthquake, or fire. It was an explosion of water. Imagine waking up in a luxury Berlin hotel, sipping coffee, when suddenly you hear a burst. A million liters of water crashes down. Fish flying, glass shattering, chaos everywhere. This is the story of Aquadom. Inside the Radisson Collection Hotel, the Aquadom was a 16-meter tall glass cylinder housing one 500 tropical fish. Built in 2003 for 12.8 million euros, it won a Guinness World Record for the world's largest cylindrical aquarium. On December 16, 2022, it burst after 19 years, sending a million liters of salt water flooding into the lobby restaurants and the street. Why did it happen? Experts have theories. Some say that there might be a flaw in the bonding of the acrylic panels, but a microscopic crack that expanded over time. Some suspect thermal stress from Berlin's freezing winter. But there's no solid proof. But you know what makes this worse? The entire tank was drained and inspected just two years earlier. Yet the hidden issue remained. The damage was so catastrophic that instead of rebuilding, they scrapped it entirely. The space is now an indoor garden. But the memory of that unforgettable day remains. 
Five on our list is a bridge that tore itself apart on camera. This is the story of Galloping Gertie. Built to connect Tacoma to the Kitsap Peninsula, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge was the world's third longest suspension bridge. But from the day it opened on July 1st, 1940, it had a serious problem. It wouldn't stop moving. Drivers felt the road bounce beneath them. Workers nicknamed it Galloping Gertie. Funny at first terrifying in reality. Engineers tried fixes, cables, dampers, reinforcements, but nothing worked. Then just four months later, disaster struck. November 7th, 1940. Winds hit 42 miles per hour. This time the bridge didn't just bounce, it twisted. The roadway contorted like a ribbon in the wind. The movement worsened until collapse. Massive chunks of concrete and steel crashed into the water. Miraculously, no people died. But one tragic loss, Tubby the Cocker Spaniel trapped in a car as the bridge fell. People once blamed residents, but the real culprit was aeroelastic flutter, a wind-induced feedback loop that engineers didn't yet understand. This collapse revolutionized bridge design. They built a new bridge in 1950 with way better engineering. Then in 2007, they added a second bridge to handle even more traffic. Speaking of shocking collapses, let's fast forward to another engineering disaster. Imagine construction crews working hard on a brand new luxurious high-rise. Everything seems fine until the entire structure crumbles in seconds. October 12, 2019. New Orleans watched in horror as the Hard Rock Hotel partially collapsed, killing three workers and injuring many more. The Hard Rock Hotel was supposed to be a landmark a stunning new addition to the city skyline. 18 floors, 350 hotel rooms, apartments, event spaces, and a parking garage. It was meant to bring life to downtown New Orleans. Workers saw warped steel beams and even filmed the weak structure, but their concerns were ignored. The project continued. Then a critical design flaw sealed its fate. Steel bolt connections weren't properly designed or checked. The result? A catastrophe waiting to happen. And then it did. The collapse shut down streets, hurt businesses, and left the city in shock. And the worst part? The recovery effort was painfully slow. Two of the workers, Quinion Wimberly and Jose Ponce Ariola, were trapped in the rubble for nearly 10 months before their bodies could even be recovered. Imagine what their families went through knowing their loved ones were still inside that wreckage for almost a year. Heartbreaking. Despite recommendations for felony charges, a grand jury found no criminal liability. Civil lawsuits followed, but for many, justice never came. Then things got even darker. Joel Ramirez, a survivor who spoke out about site conditions, was detained and deported to Honduras by IC. Coincidence? Many don't think so. So we've already seen some shocking construction disasters. But this next one is straight out of a movie. Let's go to Shanghai, China for our number three biggest construction mistakes in the world. A 13-story apartment building tipping over like a domino. Sounds impossible, right? But on June 27, 2009, that's exactly what happened in Shanghai's Lotus Riverside Complex. This residential project was meant to provide modern housing in the Minhang District. 11 identical buildings built to last. But Block 7 didn't even make it to opening day. At 5.30 a.m., the entire structure fell over in one piece, intact but completely sideways. The reason? A massive engineering blunder. Workers were digging for an underground parking garage, which was fine. But instead of properly disposing of the excavated soil, they dumped it right next to the building forming a 10-meter tall dirt mountain. Engineers warned them. Supervisors warned them. But the company ignored the risks all to save five to six million yuan. And then disaster. One worker died. Images of the fallen tower went viral, sparking outrage across China. Furious home buyers demanded refunds and lawsuits flooded in. Executives and government officials were prosecuted. Some faced fines. Others got life imprisonment. The public demanded stricter building regulations and the government had no choice but to take action. But for the families affected by the collapse, no punishment could undo what happened. All right, let's move to two on our list. April 24th, 2013, a day of unimaginable tragedy 
in Savar, Bangladesh. Thousands of garment workers entered Rana Plaza, an eight-story factory building producing clothes for major global brands. But disaster was imminent. The day before cracks appeared in the walls and floors. Engineers warned of danger the evacuation was broadcasted on TV, and yet, workers were forced to return under threat of losing their wages. Then, in less than 90 seconds, the entire building collapsed, killing one 134 people and injuring over two 500. It became one of the deadliest industrial disasters in history. Why did this happen? Greed and corruption. Rana Plaza was never meant to hold factories. It was built for shops and offices, but owner Sohol Rana illegally added four extra floors crammed in heavy machinery and ignored every safety rule. Worse? The building stood on a weak foundation, a filled-in pond. When the world saw the devastation, outrage exploded. Protests erupted across the U.S., Australia, and Europe demanding better working conditions. Yet shockingly, Bangladesh's garment exports grew by 16% the next year, proving the industry was too big to fail. Justice was slow and frustrating. Sohil Rana and 41 others were charged with murder in 2015, but legal delays left victims' families waiting. Meanwhile, factory workers were still pressured. Some told come to work or lose a month's salary. The tragedy sparked stricter safety regulations and compensation for victims' families, but was it enough? Or is fast fashion still built on hidden dangers? All right. Here comes the one biggest construction disaster on our list. Imagine a building so badly designed that it melted cars and sent people flying. That's exactly what happened with 20 Finchage Street, also known as the Walkie Talkie Building. Standing 160 meters, 525 feet tall, it was supposed to be an architectural masterpiece. Instead, it became a huge mistake. Designed by Raphael Vinoli and finished in 2014, the building had a top-heavy shape to fit more offices and make more money. It also had the Sky Garden London's highest public park, but it wasn't really open to everyone. The biggest problem? The Waki Scorchy effect. The curved glass reflected sunlight like a giant magnifying glass, creating a heat beam up to 117 degrees Celsius, 243 degrees Fahrenheit. It melted parts of a Jaguar car, cracked tiles, and even burned carpets. People started calling it the Fryscraper and Death Ray Tower. And that wasn't all. The strange design also created powerful winds making it hard to walk and even blowing over cafe tables and chairs. Even with all these problems, the building sold for 1.3 billion pounds in 2017. But most people remember it for winning the 2015 Carbuncle Cup a prize for the UK's worst building. A skyscraper that melted cars, cooked sidewalks, and made walking dangerous. Truly a design disaster. Which of these disasters shocked you the most? And do you think modern architects are learning from these mistakes? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the wild world of design disasters. See you next one.